guys, how are you doing? Here I am our outside teacher of English, BM Group College. You know, it's my hero class today. I'm going to give you class on English too. Today our topic is like forms of noun. The students, you know, verb is very important part of English, particularly English language, English grammar, English sentences. Without a quiz, we cannot even think of the distance of any sentence. We can never write a sentence without having verb or without existing verb. So, our topic is today about verb and right forms of verb. You know, verbs, what is right forms of verb? You know, actually the meaning of right forms of verbs is written here. You know, right means correct. Right means correct and shorty in Bengali. You know, form. Form means structure or in Bamba. You know, of its Bengali meaning is law of it. And you know, hard is hard. And Priya in English. So, altogether, the sense of right form of her is giving correct form or correct structure of sentence. In Bangla, clear, short, katham. So, if you want to write a correct sentence, I mean, a right sentence, certainly we have to know the exact form of verb and it is totally different then on the structures of sentence subject as well. You know actually subject and tense always maintains the structure of verb. Here we can write the exact form of verb to know the forms of verb are five in number. Major, base form or is this form, major base form, number one, is this form, number two, past form, number three, Past participle form number four and ing form is number five. And we have to use these five forms of heart in various sentences according to the demand of sentence, demand of tense and subject. Here you know, tense is such a thing which normally instruct the form of verb, which form is mandatory, which form is connected in a sentence, which form should be set upon a subject. So this various form is yes, from past form, past particular form, and ID form, this five forms of verb is very important, and we have to know the proper use of these forms in a sentence. Like, if we write here, he carry an um, umbrella day. You know, here the sentence is in a present unified tense. And there is an instruction of present unified tense is that 
after subject of the sentence, verb or its carries is this form. So if we make the sentence correct, if we make the sentence right, then we have to write in this way like this. He carries an um, umbrella brain. So here, this is the exact and correct form of verb. We can write something different way, like this. If you make a sentence negative form, that is, if you write, if you want to write a sentence in negative form, you have to use some auxiliary verb before not. You know, I can notice a uh, adverbial form that is negative adverb and with this negative adverb we have to we can make a negative sentence so if we want to make negative sentence we have to use no not never etc so if you uh, want to write a negative sentence like this you not Sentence is not right because this is negative sentence. See here, here we have a not is a negative adverb. But in, I told you earlier that not is never seated in a single form, always not carries an auxiliary verb with all in. So if we want to write uh, in a proper sentence, then suddenly we have to write here like this. You don't or we do not you do not help her property so this do is mandatory to sit here before no or not if we make it uh, in, in first tense like this if we write here and in first adverbial word or first adverbial phrase, that is adverbial phrase of time, in first phrase, then we have to organize it in something different way like this. My father Get back from Dhaka last night. Your get back is what form? Here it is not correct as well because here is an adverbial time and this adverbial time is. Instructing that this time has already been occurred in first time. That's why we have to write in a first time and first tense. If we make the correct, then certainly we have to write it like this. My father got back, not get back, got back from Last one. Then, dear student, uh, it's a very long process to discuss about right forms of how. You have to know the proper use and proper structures of how and proper structures of tenses as well. Uh, we have to continue this topic for some more classes in the next time. Until then, I have to say bye.
Keep yourself fit and well.